All right, so no long introduction needed. Um, we're gonna talk about business hours today. And obviously you'll use business hours in scenarios where you want to, for example, deliver an email during business hours so that the recipient is more likely to open it, or you have some workflow rules that, um, for example, change field values based on the number of business hours that have passed. So I'm gonna show you how to set up business hours, how to query for them so that you can use them throughout your org, and how to test that they're working or kind of test the differences between business hours and calendar hours. So we're gonna to touch on those three things. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, first step as always is to log in. And once we log in, we're at our configuration page. We're gonna type in business hours and we'll click on that link that shows up. Now from here, uh, we'll actually create new business hours. So go ahead and click that button and we can give them a name. Uh, let's say we're a company in New York and we are on Eastern time. We'll make uh, Eastern US business hours and we'll mark them active. Uh, I'm gonna select the corresponding time zone. And for this example, let's say we work nine to six every single day. So I'm gonna go through and edit those Monday through Friday to show nine through six. All right, so we've gone ahead and done that. We'll click save. And now the last step of this sort of basic setup process is to set up some holidays. So we'll see that object we just created. Let's click on that. And at the bottom, let's add a holiday. Now you can see I have Christmas, that's already available. Uh, I'll add that. And I'm gonna create a new holiday. Let's create the, uh, the 4th of July, for example. So I'll type in a name, uh, optionally I could give it a description, and I'll choose a date, obviously the 4th of July. And I'm gonna make sure that it's a recurring holiday because obviously it happens every single year. So I'll make sure it recurs on July 4th, uh, no end date, and I'll go ahead and save that. And right from there, you can see, once we add Christmas back in there and we save, on our business hours, we also have those holidays included. So this is very useful, easy to set up, uh, and definitely you should be doing it within your org. All right, now let's open up the developer console because I wanna show you how to query those business hours we just created so that you can use them within your organization, within triggers and things like that. So I'll go to my query editor at the bottom and I'm gonna type in some SQL. I'm gonna say select ID and name from business hours. And if I go ahead and execute that, you'll see all of those rows we just looked at with the ID and name returned. Now let's add a condition. Let's say where name is equal to Eastern US. So that'll just return, or it should just return um, the record I just created. And there it is, you can see one record returned. So now let's press Control E and let's open up the execute anonymous code. Now here's that query I just created and I'm storing it in a business hours object. And now I wanna create two date time objects just to do some quick testing and show you how this works. Uh, so my first date time is eight business hours and you can see that eight times 60 times 60 times 1000. Well, actually what that is is eight hours by 60 seconds by 60 minutes by 1000 milliseconds. So that's actually how you have to construct the interval. Now, obviously with calendar hours, it's much simpler. Uh, let's do a debug log so we can see the difference. We'll make sure that open log is selected and we'll execute that. So it's gonna run that code really quickly and it's gonna show me the results. Uh, let's go ahead and zoom in so we can see. Now, as, what, as you can tell here, eight business hours from now is tomorrow at about 5.30 p.m. And that looks fine because we set our business hours till 6 p.m. However, eight calendar hours from now is about 2.30 in the morning. So if, for example, you were sending an email with this rule, you would much prefer to use business hours. All right, so that's it. And as I just mentioned, you could imagine that delivering an email during business hours is a lot more useful than delivering it in the middle of the night. Uh, and the same goes for a lot of things within your Salesforce orgs. So if you haven't already set up business hours or you're not familiar with how to use them, um, I suggest that you go ahead and implement them now that you know. Uh, if this video was helpful for you, consider subscribing, uh, giving it a like, and as always, I'll be posting more content like this every single week. Thanks.